All right, it's Eddie Trunk. We're in the home stretch of day number one of Monsters of Rock 2013 here in Sao Paulo. And I am backstage now, joined by Corey and Clown from Slipknot. What's going What's going on with Clown, man? Clown's very excited to be here. He's got some blood in it. Yeah, it's it's gonna be a it's gonna be an earth shattering experience. <laughs> <laughs> Clown, do you always chub up before you play in Brazil? Chub, piss, poop, whatever. It's impressive. Um, yeah, from this angle, it is. Yeah. <laughs> No, I mean impressive just how he's manipulating it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good Welcome sir. to my life. <laughs> this is a one-off for Slipknot, right? You guys aren't out on tour. You're just here for Monsters of Rock, right? Yeah, yeah. I specifically came down to, to play this festival. Brazil's always been really good to us, uh, whether it's uh, doing our own shows or Rock and Rio, obviously. And uh, we, we weren't going to miss this for the world. So we're really excited to be here. You know, I, I've heard for so long about how crazy and passionate the fans are for this music here in this part of the world and i'm experiencing it for the first time but you've you've been there done that right you you know what you're in for oh dude I, the first time we came down here i think was 2005 and we did a slew of our own shows uh not just in brazil but in chile uh, uh Vene venezuela i think uh ecuador i mean this this whole continent is so beyond when it comes to the love and the passion for music that it matches our own so it it brings out the very slipknot and slipknot let's put it that way clown you have a favorite experience from playing in brazil armed guards <laughs> there's plenty of those around here <laughs> yeah actually uh honestly you know touring around the whole world uh the south american fans of all ages are brilliant polite Beautiful, calm, understanding, and um, in the crazy business that we are in, it's really nice to have a comfortable family around you to help get the pain out. We love it here. You know, fans are incredible. Hey, let me ask you real quick. How hard is it, since this is just one show that you're doing just for this festival? I mean, the energy and the insanity that you guys bring on stage, I mean, what's the prep like? I mean, is it tough to dial it up when you're not doing it night in and night out for one show only? I've, I've been saying this for the last couple of years. I, I've never seen a band that can kind of knock the rust off as quickly as this band does. I mean, it's, it's something to be said about this band of individuals that when it's time for us, we rehearse and it's like we never left each other. And then once we get on stage, I mean, even if we're sick, even if we're hurt, I mean, we just go for it. We don't know any other speed except holy shit. And that's kind of the way we've always led it. And it's it's always right there for us. So it's not that hard. I mean, especially when you've got thousands of amazing fans out there really rooting you on and waiting and, and really hanging on every note and every word. It just brings out the best in us. One last thing before we let you get on stage. Um, any plans for new Slipknot music? We're putting some stuff together. All of us are putting uh, music together right now that will hopefully become Slipknot music. And uh, we're looking to get into the studio next year. Uh, there's no timeline or anything like that. But next year is definitely uh, phase one for uh, Slipknot 5, whatever that becomes. All right, well, I'm going to let you get ready and get on stage. You should definitely do it before Clown finishes, oh, too, you know. <laughs> he's, he's I already nerds. finished. <laughs> <laughs> I figured as much. You were leaning up now, so he was, he was good. He was easily. <laughs> All right, well, on that note, get ready, Monsters of Rock, to finish up night number one to destroy the stage. Slipknot coming your way.